films in this series show the systems and operating procedures for the F-8U-1 and the emergency procedures for all types of F-8U airplanes. This film shows how the F-8U-1E and the F-8U-2 differ from the F-8U-1. Both of these airplanes have an improved intercept capability due to the installation of the AFS-67 radar. In this film, you will see the intercept and attack procedures using this radar. Now let's see how to run an intercept mission in the F-8U-1E or F-8U-2 using the AFS-67 radar and Sidewinder missiles. Put the radar function switch in standby and allow a warm-up period of three to five minutes. Then switch to the search mode. Turn the radar gain all the way down. On this radar, adjust the brilliance control before adjusting the gain control. Turn the brilliance up until the artificial horizon can be clearly seen. Now turn the gain up as necessary and adjust the focus. The FTC switch provides for reducing scope clutter in the search mode. Leave it in normal except when needed. Set the tune knob to auto to obtain automatic radar receiver tuning. The test button provides the pilot with a means of checking radar performance. Holding the test button depressed displays a series of false targets covering at least half of the scope. A fewer number of test targets or less coverage may be an indication of poor radar performance. The radar lock-on sensitivity can be checked by locking on the most distant target possible. To lock on, rotate the minimum range strobe out to just below the desired target. Then turn the radar function switch to the range position and continue to hold the test button depressed. A change to the lock-on display indicates that the system is operating properly. Now set up the armament panel. Turn on the master armament switch. Select the desired missile and turn up the missile volume control. Vectors from GCI direct you to the vicinity of the target. Operate the radar in the search mode. This mode provides a roll stabilized radar sweep 45 degrees on each side of the airplane heading and a total of 14 degrees in elevation centered about the armament datum line. No pitch stabilization is provided. If target altitude is known, maneuver to an altitude 2,000 feet below the target. This is the optimum vertical separation for detection in straight and level flight. If you do not see the target on the scope when GCI says that it is within radar range, Step the nose position of the airplane up and down until the target appears on the scope. When the target appears on the scope, maneuver to position it dead ahead. artificial horizon permits you to concentrate on the scope during the intercept and still maintain your attitude orientation. When the target range closes to eight miles, adjust the minimum range control until the range strobe is just under the target. Then shift to the range mode. The scope shows acquisition, then lock on. 
The target light on the missile release computer goes out. You are now in the attack phase. The antenna has locked straight ahead to the armament datum line, and the radar has shifted to a conical scan. Maneuver to center the steering dot. When the steering dot is centered, the target should be visible in your fixed gun sight. When the antenna is pointing straight at the target, the size of the circle indicates the range to the target. If you allow the target to drift out of the antenna scan, the radar presents a warning display, then reverts to the acquisition phase. The lock-on procedure must be repeated by going back to search, adjusting the range strobe again, and repeating the lock-on. Now maneuver to keep the steering dot centered. When the missile locks onto the target, the missile tone changes. When the target range needle lines up with the Sidewinder maximum range needle and the target and G-limit lights are out, you are within the missile envelope. If the G-limit light is not on, fire. The missile finds its target. In this film, you have seen how to fly an intercept mission in the F-8U-1E and the F-8U-2 using the AF-67 radar with Sidewinder missiles. Know these procedures well to take full advantage of this radar, and it will improve your chance of succeeding on every intercept mission. <laughs>